Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator and the Path Eraser tool. Path Eraser tool, I'm using 2021, the latest version, but I'm certain it's available in fairly recent versions, early versions as well. I'm not certain to be honest. So what you can do, go over here to the Path Eraser tool. If it's not there, and I know some people have problems where suddenly they look and it's not, it's beneath the shape tool, should be. If it's not, I think you're gonna have to go down here to the edit, edit the toolbar, and you can then go up there and you can see your shaper tool, pencil, etc. etc. And you can see path raise tool, and you can drag it back from there into, into your toolbar. Right, so once it's there, and you of course can position it anywhere else as well. So you've got your design. What does it do? What does the path raiser do? Well, what you need, just select it, everything. So select, select all, or control A, etc. What you need then, you just simply go over that line, just anywhere. So if I just go over that, it will remove it. So now let's just quickly demonstrate a bit better with, say, a very simple design. And let's make that a bit bigger so you can see it. So you can see that it's all selected there. All you can do, go to the pencil eraser, and say you want a doorway or something there, just a bit of a gap. So just go along, just go along there, just drag along there, just that far, and it will remove from that point to that point, and that's past is gone. You can do the same again somewhere else, and you can of course continue to do that. Now, if the path isn't selected, say you come to, you got it here, suddenly the path is no longer selected. You have to do control A again, so you can get it all selected, and then you can of course remove it a bit, and you can remove very fine. Now, if you want to really do very fine detail, you can, of course, zoom in. You can see there, again, go back to the eraser and you can just go down that little bit. So you can create very, very fine, and again, control A. So you can create some nice sort of unusual line designs very quick and easy using this approach. Now, just gonna come out there, Alt, and you can do it with curves, etc. So control A again, and you've got that design. And of course, you can still go over here, and if you've still got maybe black there, but you'll notice what's happened now, because of course, this they're all independent individual parts. So literally, you can't do that. So now if you so if you have got from the start, let's go right from the start there. I'm just gonna quickly select that one there. So you've got that. If I use the eraser tool now, if I go there and let's go along there, you'll see a gap there. Of course, you've still got that. But then as soon as you see that, you can see it's their individual paths now. But it just demonstrates the it works best, of course, with strokes, and that's what the purpose is. But of course, once you've got your design, of course you can always go to object and you can expand. Let's expand there. So individual, you've got your chunks of design there. You can do that. Now another option, of course, is to, let's go for curvature tool. So let's go to tool, so you can select that. And again, I'm not gonna have that. I'm gonna have, nope. And then I'm gonna set, maybe to black, so you can see it. Obviously makes it easier. And then down to, say, 40. And also I'm gonna set it there. And also give it a brush stroke, maybe. Something like that. Or, so you can see the design there. Maybe make it bigger so you can see it even better. What you can do, still do, you still go to the eraser tool, and then with that, you just go along there, and you can see then you break it apart. So you can create some nice sort of cuts in your, just drag it like that. And of course you can, again, quickly zoom in. So if you wanted to cut that path there, what you can do, you've got that selected, that's the key thing. Make certain it's selected. With it selected, go to the path eraser, and then you can simply put a little break there, break there, and you can create some sort of very abstract sort of designs like that. Okay. Very quick and easy. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, Finity Photo, and many other applications. Always adding new stuff every day. So please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Also, if you've got any comments, any questions, anything I've done right, anything I've done wrong, please put it in the comments. A dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.